a swimmer goes to the man's aid, only for the tables to quickly turn. And the guy that's holding on to him, he could have been a dead hero. It was just sexual. I think I've got a spine on him. I got there and the girl was being held. She was in excruciating pain. Something was horribly wrong. After she was violently dumped by a wave, the woman must be supported by volunteer lifesavers and members of the public. Minimising movement in the ocean just adds a kind of extremely difficult element. The spinal board is on its way. But in the rolling surf, Jules must find a quick solution. I need to get this girl on a stable platform and out of the ocean. Three, when you count, everyone has to try to the body. I had to improvise, so I just went for it. Uh, actually, they did it pretty smooth. This one's too bad. Assisted by volunteer lifesavers and members of the public, Jules must get the woman through the surf without any sudden movements. There's a huge amount of responsibility when dealing with a spinal. Your treatment could be the difference between them walking home or them going home in a wheelchair. Every time she screamed and cringed, I swear, like, I've felt that. I just kind of went into action mode and autopilot and started yelling out orders to people. We brought her in and just lay her down on the board in the sand and I guess that was when we started to really assess like her symptoms and, and what was happening. So what's your name? Yeah, you can swim out there. Yeah. 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 All right. Lying precariously on the edge of the board, Sammy must be stabilised. Sammy, what we're going to do now is we're just going to get you a little bit more straight so you're more comfortable. Oh, oh. Oh, don't take your head. Oh, Ned. When they're feeling a lot of pain, it's really hard to treat because you, you don't want them moving their head or their neck, and quite often when they are in such distress, they'll do that. Every summer, lifeguards respond to dozens of potential spinal injuries. Most of them suffer no permanent effects. A handful aren't so lucky. An analgesic gas offers the lifeguards strongest form of pain relief. Big breath that you were doing with me. It doesn't taste very nice. It's, it's OK. Me just... It's like medicine, so it's going to taste a bit funky, but it's so important. It's just that important that you get it in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to help you, all right? A head-to-toe assessment will identify any loss of feeling or motor function. Can you just wiggle your toes at all for me? That's a really bad sign when someone has no feeling in their feet. Um, it's time to really start thinking about, you know, serious spinal damage. Sammy's symptoms indicate a potentially devastating spinal injury. The question now is whether or not it's permanent. Your left leg is numb. I you... felt numb when I hit my head. Yeah. Oh, the pain, bit of pain. from my back. Right, That's just, all right, just, just take breathing. This... Remember, take your whistle breaths. in. Nice deep breaths. As lifeguards wait for paramedics to arrive, Sammy makes a shocking revelation. I broke your neck before. Okay, so how long ago did you have you broken your neck? A year and a half ago. And what were you doing a year and a half ago? Cheating. So I just kind of took a breath. She could have completely re kind of cracked or broken something here. For the symptoms that she showed, that was the most serious case I've dealt with. So we're going to put a collar on you, all right? I guess I was fearful that she might lose her ability to walk. Lifeguards wait in hope for news that Sammy will make a full recovery. Lucky to choose. The girl you brought out of the water yesterday is up at the tower if you want to say hello. Yeah, copy. Thank you. Swimming outside the flags, a man is caught in a rip. But before lifeguards get to him, 
another boy in blue comes to the rescue. It's a brave and courageous act from the young boy. But as they wait for assistance, there's panic. Thanks, buddy. Suddenly, the boy is pushed off his own board. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> can't drown him like that. Oh. You all right, buddy? Thomas makes a brave return to the beach, while the rescued man seems oblivious to what he's done. If you can't swim, you shouldn't go in the water, OK? All right. All right. If not, you should be right up in the flags. Yeah. Yeah. Last, last day on holiday in Australia. Last day on holiday, and he did a rescue, right? Yeah, I'm proud of him. Good work, Thomas. Great stuff. If they, if they ever pull you down, you grab them by the balls and they let down. <laughs> I was just afraid, like, really dangerous. I, I saw a kid, I asked him, can you help me? Even then, I hold his surfing board. After that, like, even I push him. Because I couldn't understand anything, like, I couldn't even think anything. Yeah. You know, it's just really dangerous, really, really dangerous, yeah. In the face of death, people do unthinkable things. Two men are caught in a rip. I just noticed out of the corner of my eye that there was a two swimmers in trouble. I was very lucky that Chapo spotted that guy, especially in between all the clubbies going in and out, you know. Hello, guys. Yes, sir, Summers. Come back in, please. Come back in to shore. One of the men gets closer to shore, but his friend is going backwards. I'm going to go the guy the back, Chapo. Max passes the second swimmer who's made it safely out of the water. Once I hit the water, I was paddling as hard as I could because I knew he was going under. Finally, a local board paddler heads to the man. When that lifesaver did notice him, it was a sigh of relief for me. And then the worst possible thing happened. That really escalated the situation. Max is now the man's last hope. This guy was really going under. I just had that tunnel vision just get to him. When I'm paddling out to rescue, the only thing that's going through my mind is get this guy back to shore alive. Finally, people nearby become aware of the situation. Oh, yeah, Max has got him. By the time I got out to the guy, he lost all his energy and he was very close to drowning. Well spotted by me. <laughs> If you can't give yourself a rap, who else is going to give you a rap, I suppose? <laughs> Izumizuki is on holiday from Japan. Is he OK? okay? No. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm tired. Big wave. Double. Oh. <laughs> I can't see me. <laughs> I do can't see me. Lifeguards treated a young woman with an alarming pain in her neck. Oh. I was so concerned for her because it was just a massive unknown. Since then, they've been waiting desperately for news. Um, guys, this is Sammy from yesterday. After being cleared of serious injury in hospital, Sammy has returned to say thanks. When I went underneath the wave, I kind of like tumbled and smacked the back of my head against the sandbank. The back of your head? Yeah. yeah. It was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jules is on the beach, actually. Get Jules, come on. Lucky to Jules. The girl you brought out of the water yesterday is up at the tower if you want to say hello. Yeah, copy. Thank you. I was pretty excited because I was thinking, OK, well, if she's here, she's on her feet and she's walked in, so this is fantastic news. How are you? I'm um, feeling a bit better now. What was the verdict? What's um, the inflammation around my C7. Okay. And I aggravated my C6 again. I've got full feeling back in my arms and legs. Yay, that's fantastic. <laughs> Happy days. You're smiling. <laughs> bit different to um, yesterday, isn't it? Hopefully, You um... won't forget this trip. <laughs> No, I won't. 
to have people come back and, and truly thank you and mean it, yeah, it's really special. Singlets has a memento. <laughs> I did dig in the back of my locker. It's got my name in it, so it's, it's a permanent reminder of me, unfortunately, for you, but at least uh, you got something. Perfect. Oh, Perfect Yeah. You, you, must, you must have a big head like mine. Nah. Oh. <laughs> you got me head back now. Nah, it's all good. Whenever we treat a patient for an injury or a, a serious rescue, it would be lovely to have all of them come back and let us know they're OK. When they do, in the case with Sammy, it's a great thing to put your mind at rest and to know that you've done a good job on the day. Do you want me in it? Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Sammy, all about it. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Bye. Maxie and I looked at each other and we were like, is he going under? Go, 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 go. A swimmer goes to the man's aid only for the tables to quickly turn. Oh, he's dragging another person under. Lifeguards are still a long way off. Hey guys, I've got a board on my car. In moments, there could be two drowned swimmers. I got a call from the tower that there's two guys going under where the flags were, which was right in front of me. And I just pinned it. We just scrambled to grab whatever we can. We grabbed a few boards. Me and Singlet's both ran down. I'll do it, I got it. I couldn't see a person, all I heard was going under and drowning. Yeah, I put my head down and just got out there as quick as I could. Have you got eyes on that? How bad is it? We've got him on the binoculars, the bike needs help. Yatesy is backed up quickly by Maxi. I just wanted to go as fast as I can and at one stage it felt like it was forever to get to the guy. Oh man, oh man. It was like a pulley system. They are both going up and down, up and down. And in, in that case, it's a perfect example. Sometimes the rescuers do get in trouble as well. Chapo keeps track of the location. OK, boys. If the men go under, lifeguards will use the megaphone to direct Yatesy and Maxi to the last known location. Boys are almost there. We haven't lost sight of him at all. Yatesy's got him. Yeah, yeah. When I got there, they were pretty much holding each other up. I looked over and um, Maxie was coming out, which was good to see. The rescuer was swimming with his girlfriend when he saw the drowning victim in trouble. He has, without doubt, saved a life. The guy that swam over to him, you know, is a hero because he kind of gave us a bit of time to get there so he didn't sink. Not looking for accolades, the mystery man swims back to shore. You know, he put his own life in danger to help this guy, and that's probably one of the most selfless things he could do as a human being. AJ is visiting Bondi for the first time. That guy was pretty lucky. If there was no one else around him, he would have been on the bottom. Lucky that we were still here waiting, looking hey, for that other guy. Mate, he's a legend. Um... We weren't still here. That guy would have been dead. Yeah. yeah. We're packed up. We've got nothing on the beach. That was fluke. But I had that buggy with a board on it. And the guy that was holding on to him, he could have been a dead hero, you know? 